On October 24, 2010, Moment Magazine held its 35th anniversary symposium and dinner at the Four Seasons Hotel in Georgetown in Washington, D.C. Hello, I'm Nadine Epstein, editor and publisher of Moment Magazine. So my first question is for Ken Feinberg. Ken, you've been the administrator of distribution in the wake of many of America's recent crises, from 9-11 to the Virginia Tech shooting and now the British, British Petroleum oil crisis. I'm wondering how Jewish thought has influenced the American sense of what is fair and what is just. And, I'm, and is if there's something from your Jewish experience that you've taken with you into the mediation room? Well, these programs that I've administered are aberrations, don't forget. Uh, they're set up in the wake of very singular, unique tragedies. 9-11, Virginia Tech, BP, Agent Orange. They're not an everyday occurrence. The American people, I think, frown on the notion that a very small group of people should receive great compensation when bad things happen to good people every day in this country. The idea that you'll segregate for special generous compensation just a few of those people is a very rare accommodation in this country. Now, having said that, there are really three lessons I've learned from my Jewish heritage that stand me in good stead when it comes time to design, administer, and implement these special compensation programs like I'm doing now in the Gulf of Mexico on 9-11. First, an acknowledgement that life is unfair. It's a very important acknowledgement to make. Where is it written that life should be fair? It's not written anywhere. Life is unfair. Bad things do happen to good people. And that resignation, that recognition not to ask or spend a great deal of your time trying to fathom how people can run planes into buildings in New York or how oil can gush around the Gulf of Mexico threatening the financial livelihood of people in five states. I mean, that's the first lesson you learn, which is don't think brood about it too long. Second, I think a healthy skepticism about human nature. When you look at these tragedies, for the most part, they are implemented by human beings who, however perverted it may be, however lax they may be, however negligent, however reckless, however misinformed, I think it's a good idea to recognize when you do what I do that uh, um, there's no guarantee that you're de dealing with reasonableness here. And I think that stands you in good stead on the basis of my heritage. And the third point I'd make is um, the absence of resignation about these disasters. Bad things happen, that doesn't mean that I was brought up to believe in predestination. I mean, the fact of the matter is that the response to these tragedies, the decision made by public policy makers, statutorily, publicly, privately, to deal with the impact of these tragedies by coming up with a creative solution to these tragedies, rare as they may be, I think is part of my heritage. The, the fact, well, just because it happened, that doesn't mean we roll over and don't try and help. So all of this discussion about compassion and respect for the little man and all of that, I think is part of a decision that I grew up with, that when bad things do happen, that's no reason for you to step back and just accept it. There are resolutions and there are solutions.